Mitch Scott, I am a massive fan. I've always wanted to interview you, man. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. I'm going to jump into this. I have to tell you, this series has put me in fear of the classic, hey, it's me. We met it years ago back at that thing. How are you doing? <laughs> so I'm sort of curious, as your career has exploded these past few years, how often do you get the Tom Ripley treatment of random strangers approaching saying, Andrew, Andrew Scott, it's me. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes you have to be able to, to decipher between somebody that might recognize you from something they've seen you in or somebody that you might have been in school with. Um, and so you have to just surf that for a couple of awkward seconds. And someone's like, it's not because I want your autograph. It's because, you know, I went to school with your sister. <laughs> How uh, awkward would it be if years from now, I'm like, Andrew, we spoke for five minutes over Zoom <laughs> four years ago. Yeah, well, you better not do that to me. Never, would never. Um, you know, I've got to say, you know, Tom, in a lot of, in a lot of ways, uh, in order to pull off these cons, I feel like he's playing a character. He's putting on a performance, obviously to a different degree, but I feel like he kind of has to be an actor. So I'm thinking about the skill sets that you and Tom Ripley share. Would it be easier for Tom to be an actor or for Andrew Scott to be a con man? Uh, I would be a terrible con man. So Why? Just by, yeah, I would, because I would go so red. I go, when I lie, <laughs> when I lie, I go quite red because I'm like, everybody can see this. Uh, I think it's a bit of a myth that actors are good at liars. Maybe some are good at lying. I I, I, I don't know. Maybe some actors are. But um, Tom, as an actor, I actually think he would probably be quite a good actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves he, the arts. Can, you know, one of the beautiful things is that he's a con artist, you know, except nobody sees him and he's, he's applying his talent, the talent of Mr. Ripley, into something that is fraudulent because that's all he's been afforded in his life. But then um, as he emerges into this other world where people are completely entitled to the arts, he becomes really good at painting and he becomes bathed in beauty and he's able to dress really well. Um, so it just shows that, um, you know, uh, the arts really are for everybody. And if you don't give them... To, I think what Patricia Highsmith is sort of saying, if you, if, you, if there's a, if there's a inequality about who gets access to these amazing things that other people get access to, then then bad things start to start to happen. People get angry. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, Tom Ripley obviously is a role that's been played by by many people in the past. Matt Damon being uh, one of the big ones everyone knows. But in the spirit of multiple people playing a role, what is a past role of yours that you would love to see how another actor? interprets that character maybe down the road someday. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's it's really interesting because obviously there have been different iterations of, of Tom Ripley and the Tom Ripley stories. But, you know, in the theater, which is where I do, you know, start, started and continue to work in, you know, if you're with Shakespeare, you... There, it's always open to interpretation and if something is really well written then it can it can take that so um the the one character that i think you can what they say is that you can pour in the 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 personality of any actor or actress is hamlet which is one of the best parts ever 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 written and it's 400 over 400 years years old so i'm always interested to see how different people um, interpret exactly the same lines um, in a ex very similar auditorium and come out with a completely different interpretation. It just shows, you know, the power of um, empathy and how how everybody is not. There is no right or wrong. It's just a it's just a different different interpretation. So yeah, I would say Hamlet is always the one to go to. I love that. Is there only one hot priest? Only one actor will ever be hot priest? Uh, I couldn't possibly say. I couldn't possibly answer that. <laughs> Also, can I say that for you? Yeah, you can say it for me. Okay, fair enough. All right, thank you for taking so so much time, man. I appreciate you. It's really a pleasure to meet you, and hopefully, get to meet you in person someday. Don't blank me then. Don't blank me then. The next time you see me, I would never, would never, sir. Don't rip me.